I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2020 37 FBT Sabre Cobalt 5th wheel by Forest River. It's a three slide model. Uh, this is a new floor plan from Sabre. It is a front bath model, uh, but it is extremely unique. They've done a great job of creating a unique, very functional floor plan. So I'm excited to show you some features of this. Um, this is the first one I've made a video on. Uh, I, I love it. Probably my favorite one by Saber now. We're going to look at some features. Hopefully, I can convey uh, all that to you. So, 37 FBT and Arrowhead Camper Sales, we're the dealer. So, entering in, uh, we're going to walk into the living room, actually. And we're going to go up, actually, to our bedroom, bathroom first and start there. Um, so, a couple things I'm going to kind of show you. To the left is this half bath. You notice this area above it. Keep that in mind. It's going to come into play in a minute. Uh, but that's our half bath. Look at that in a second. But we're actually going to go up and into our bedroom and bathroom. So typical for the half bath, for the excuse me, front bath, uh, walk through our bedroom and we go to our master bath up front. So in our master bath, I'm going to give you a quick look around here, all the things it has to offer, and then we'll discuss some in detail. Let you see it all first. So when you enter in. Uh, back to my right here <clears throat> is our our two sinks. So his and her sinks. A lot of storage in this in this bathroom. So you know below we've got our our classic doors below big drawers to the right of that. And then we got a ton of countertop space and then all of this these medicine cabinets up here above that. So a really awesome amount of storage. Again with countertop space, his and her sinks at the front. Our classic the front closet here, barn style doors, huge closet, big hanging rod, big shelf above, shelving actually built into that front cap area, tons of floor space, so an awesome front closet here. And then to my, to my left, left of that, you've got your washer dryer prepped closet. And if you don't want a washer dryer, you just got more storage. So huge, huge amount of space up here at the front. Um, you could put a sack washer dryer in here, or you could just leave it and make it a more, more storage area there. But regardless, um, plenty of, of storage space, especially can, compared to the average unit. Um, notice here to the left of that, we got our foot flush toilet, we've got a huge shower, it's got a seat built into it, shelving built into it, massive skylight above that. So an awesome uh, front bath up here. All right, going back out, got our sliding door to close off our uh, bedroom there. In the bedroom itself, bed slide, got a king bed in here. Lots of outlets and USB ports throughout. You can see they're on both sides of this bed. Nightstands on both sides. Um, on both sides, there's a window, even a window above. Uh, j just really open feel throughout. At the foot of the bed, there's more storage here and then a TV hookup. You can set the TV on that or mount it in the wall, whatever you want to do. Big window here at the foot of the bed as well. And then here's what I want to talk about. Um, you've got this these doors here. So this is actually above that half bath. Call it a storage loft. It's huge. Um, a, a ton of space. I, I think you can tell from this video how deep that is. I don't know if that's, I don't know, three feet roughly. Um, something like that. It, it's huge. A little light in here. So just a great multi-use storage space. Uh, do with it what, whatever you need. That's also some storage we're going to see in a second that's accessible from the living room. But Massive amount of storage space there. Great use of that uh, by Sabre. Two airs on this unit, both ducted. Uh, one air here in the bedroom, one in the living room. All right, so going back out, go down where we entered here at the entry door. Across from that's our half bath. Again, an impressive half bath. I got a toilet to my right, foot flush toilet. A ton of storage space. There's just storage all throughout this unit. Um, really just an amazing amount. Again, we're talking about a half bath. We've got all this storage just in a half bath. So lights in here, of course, window, sink, outlet, storage below that. A very nice, well-equipped half bath. That way your guests don't have to go through your bedroom to get to the bathroom. And the hallway here, a lot of our controls located here. Um, got a little voltmeter here for, this has a, called a juice pack. It's a solar pack uh, that Sabre is offering as a promotional piece right now. It's an option. Uh, if you want to add that later on, but uh, touch control panel here, control slides, um, some some of the jack options there. So 
touch panel, AC control, monitor panel. A lot of your main control is located right here at this hall. Now turn to the back. So again, it's a front bath. It's a rear kitchen. So a lot of times in a front bath, typically you see the living room at the back. Uh, Saber has flipped that on its on its head, I guess you'd say, and have totally redesigned the way this looks. Um, it, it's awesome. So I'm gonna scoot back. Let you see the living room. A huge living room here. So we're gonna look at a couple things here. I got three seating areas. I've got theater seats directly across from my TV, and I've got two trifold sofas. So you're gaining seating um, compared to the, the normal, I guess, orientation you call it. Tons of windows in here. Those zebra shades on it for day or night shades. Getting lots and lots of windows, lots of lights, accent lighting at the crown molding, ceiling fan. So a uh, very impressive uh, living room here. That's a, a massive TV. I don't know the inches on it, uh, but you can tell that that's a big TV. You got a big fireplace below that. There's that storage I was talking about that you can access uh, from in here as well. So you've got lots of storage up there. And again, two extra beds with these trifold sofas. So this is looking from the TV back toward the back. Uh, the kitchen area, you can see the kitchen table to the left. It's got big windows at it. And then back to the kitchen itself, very well equipped kitchen. I got the big refrigerator here, residential refrigerator. Got an inverter in case you lose power at the campground or you're traveling, you wanna be able to run it. No problem, you can do that. So big refrigerator, solid surface countertops. Got a farmhouse style sink with flush mount sink covers. Kind of that black stainless look. Um, kind of what they're going for there, or brushed nickel. I don't really know all the names of these colors. I'm I'm not an interior decorator, as you can tell. But um, kind of not not the standard silver look. They've changed this darker look. Um, above that, you got a window, residential pull-out faucet, as you saw there. Lots of outlets and USB ports on that wall. Lighting above as well. A tile backsplash. A stove with a flush mount stove top cover. And then a microwave above that. Lots of cabinet doors and storage. There's some there. There's some above the refrigerator. Uh, and then, of course, our, our pantry over here. Full pantry. Good, good spot for maybe a trash can down below there. So nice pantry. J just a really well-equipped um, kitchen. Oh, and also these come out. You can take these out if you want. You can see the motion sensor light that I triggered. You can take those out. Maybe you want to put a bigger trash can, mop, broom, vacuum, whatever you want to do. You've got... Uh, flexibility there and how you use that so I'm gonna look one more time <clears throat> excuse me from the kitchen area up toward the front you can see why it's my favorite floor plan just really unique good use of space so going back outside um, as you saw walking up you got those fold-up steps more ride step above steps big grab handle on this nice electric awning covers a good portion of this side of the unit outside speakers up there then i want to show you this this door flips up notice i got magnetic latches and i've got a little outside kitchen here so there is an outside grill hookup as well but i've also got a sink here and this is a real sink it actually goes into a tank i've got hot and cold water i've got a little light here got an outlet i've got a mini fridge just a, a cool thing to add in there that Sabre managed to, to squeeze into this floor plan. So I love that. Just another feature to have. Outside storage-wise, we're going to look at this on the other side as well, but I'll show you from this side while we're here. Huge storage compartment here. No carpet in there either. Got some lights in there also. It's a great storage compartment. Over in the back. Like real, you could do that. Four point electric auto level on this unit, so self leveling. Ladder on the back for easy roof access. It's already prepped for a backup camera if you wanted to add that. Got a receiver hitch on the back already as well. 50 amp service. Again, a four point electric auto level. And then going around to this side. Here's that storage compartment again, just to give you another look at it. Just awesome outside storage. But that's not all you have. You got more outside storage than that. You've got that primary one, which is already a ton. Then you got this one, which is also your docking center. So great storage compartment there. Again, a nice docking center. I've got my black tank flush is here. 
my TV hookups, water hookups, winterizing valve, bypass valve. Uh, it's just, it's a really convenient and it's a good look too, uh, but a good design there by Sabre putting all that uh, organized there. And then at the front, if I can lock this thing, at the front, you've even got more storage. Uh, 10 gallon gas electric water heater. I hadn't pointed that out yet. So 10 gallon dual gas or electric water heater. And then more storage on the front there as well. On the front, we got some accent lights built in the front cap. So 2020 37 FBT Sabre Cobalt Fifth Wheel by Forest River. It's a three slide front bath model. Very unique floor plan. Got a rear kitchen, huge living room. Remember, we got two trifold sofas and theater seats in this unit, plus a kitchen table and chairs. So four seating areas in total in a front bath model. Great bathroom, of course. Bath and a half, outside storage, outside kitchen. Um, it's got a little bit of everything. And that's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.